This episode is brought to you by Domain.com. Yes, we do have news about the Galaxy S7, A9, and HTC X9, but perhaps more interesting is the fact that the Sultan of Search is creating its own messaging app. Not just to communicate with other human beings, but to communicate with Google bots. For those of you who have fond memories of chatting it up on AOL's Instant Messenger, the Sultan of Search is rumored to be developing a new messenger service to compete with Facebook's Messenger and WhatsApp. And one of its primary features is an army of bots that will let you get in on the chatting action even if you don't have any friends. In addition to alleviating your painful loneliness, these bots will hunt and fetch information for you. Google says the goal is to make finding content more conversational and natural. The Alphabet-owned company is relying on their impressive artificial intelligence research to make these bots both dynamic and adaptive. For instance, you might ask one for a dinner recommendation. It may suggest a steakhouse near you, but if you decline on the basis that you're a vegetarian, the bot will remember this and avoid referring you to meat-heavy establishments in the future. Now this could be really interesting for two reasons. One, it not only allows Google to leverage their search capacity, but it allows us to personify our digital assistant. Now you may scoff at that because it's been done less and less with Google now, but Siri, wow. People love to personify Siri and give Siri qualities like sassiness, cleverness, humor, and all those wonderful things. Think about the possibilities. Could be interesting. And we've received more confirmation that the Galaxy S7 is coming soon. Real soon, like early March. According to China Mobile, the Samsung Galaxy S7 will land in China sometime in March, along with the Huawei P9. The Wall Street Journal also recently published lots of information about the Galaxy S7's launch, including mention of late February unveiling, right around the Mobile World Congress as usual. The current generation of the Galaxy S6 was announced on March 1st and went on sale in 20 countries more than a month later on April 10th. Perhaps the sales of the Galaxy S7 will begin a little quicker this time round. And the Galaxy A9 is official. As of right now, we don't have the entire list of specs, though the ones we do have are pretty sweet. The Galaxy A9 sports a 6-inch AMOLED display that's 1920 by 1080 resolution, a newly renamed octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 652 processor, 3GB of RAM, 32GB of onboard storage, and a microSD expansion slot up to 128GB, and dual SIM card support. It also has a 13-megapixel rear camera with OIS, 8-megapixel front frame camera, a pretty big 4,000 milliamp hour battery, and support for Qualcomm's quick charge. In typical Samsung fashion, there's also a home button mountain fingerprint sensor that brings along support for Samsung Pay. It will also ship with Android 5.1 Lollipop. I know you're thinking, Jace, what? Lollipop? No marshmallow? Well, I don't know for certain, but an educated guess would be that during the testing phase of the A9, only Lollipop was available, and now if they have to install Marshmallow, that's just gonna delay the launch of the device. But Marshmallow, I'm sure, is coming very soon. And also official is the HTC One X9. The HTC One X9 has been officially announced in China, powered by an octa-core MediaTek processor. The One X9 is a premium smartphone that doesn't command a premium price tag. Equipped with a 5.5-inch display, the One X9 features a good-looking design that's been combined with a metal unibody. The One X9 sports MediaTek's high-end Helio X10 processor, which is comprised of eight Cortex-A53 cores clocked at 2.2 GHz. The 64-bit chipset is paired with Power VR G6200 GPU clocked at 700 MHz. It has 3 GB of RAM, 32 GB of internal storage. The One X9 has an ultra-pixel front camera, great for low-light conditions and selfie lovers. Turn the device around and you're greeted by a 13 megapixel camera that's armed with OIS capabilities and 4K video recording. There's also support for raw image capture which serious mobile photographers are sure to appreciate. The One X9 comes with a large 3000 milliamp hour battery, which HTC claims can last for about 15 hours of voice calls over 3G, 10 hours of high definition video playback, 40 hours of uninterrupted music playback. Support for fast charging is also present, which is said to be 30% faster than charging with a regular five volt 1A charger. Clearly the lines between flagship and mid-tier devices are blurring. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, I will be reading them. Well, it is t-shirt giving time. If you can come up with an Android-related .com domain name 
that's not been previously been purchased and makes me smile. I'm looking for some creativity. Use your imagination and come up with something inspiring. I will give you one of those t-shirts wherever you are in the world. Show us the power of a .com. Because no domain name extension tells your story with the same degree of trust as a .com or .net domain name. .com and .net domain name extensions inject credibility into your online presence. Save 15% on domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code ANDROID at domain.com checkout. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Thanks for watching Android Army. My name is Jace. Love to connect with you right here on Twitter. You also don't want to forget about my brothers and sister in Android who are working super hard to be your source for all things Android.